let me show you how to slow down your videos in Camtasia to get that smooth slow motion effect. The same effect can be used to speed up your videos too. Let's get into it. So I've got a sample project open here and I've got three videos in here that I'm gonna demonstrate this three different ways. So I've got a video that I just downloaded off of Motion Array. So it's a video with no audio. I have a video of myself that has audio in it. It has a 3D screen effect. Okay, and then I also have a screen recording. So this same tool can be used in all three cases and there are three different reasons uh, different reasons why you'd want to do that. Uh, the tool we're going to be using is called Clip Speed. So there's a couple different ways to add this to this video. Um, the first way is if you go up to Visual Effects and you scroll all the way down to the bottom, it's right here called Clip Speed. Now you can click here to add it to your favorites and then you could get it from up here. But I don't use either of those ways because if you simply right click here, uh, you'll see add clip speed is an option right here. So let's click that. That has added the clip speed to this video. So it says here clip speed one times. So the speed has not been affected yet. We have to make changes in order to affect it. So if we look at it with it highlighted, we can see over here in the properties, you can enter a new speed. So if you want it to be two times, you can simply double click and press the number two and you'll notice that it shortened the clip because now it has been sped up. Okay, that's the two times the speed. Let's just back that up here. Now the original speed was this. So it already looks like it's a bit in slow motion. So that was one way to speed it up is by simply modifying the clip speed numbers over here. Um, you can also enter a duration in minutes, seconds, or frames. Um, but the way I usually do it is down here in the timeline, all you have to do, if you hover over this end or the other end, actually, it doesn't matter which one, you can click and drag the end handle. And as I'm doing that, you can see the clip speed is changing. So by making it smaller, I'm increasing the clip speed, right? So it'll be much faster. Or if I drag it the other way, it'll make it much slower. So that brings it down to 0.32. If we play that, you can see it's much slower. Okay, so let's just reset that back to one. Uh, you can also drag the other, the handle on the other end as well. It, it does the same thing. Okay, um, now let's say you wanted to speed up a portion of this in the middle. So let's say we wanted to go at this speed and then once he jumps in the air, at this point, let's slow it down. So let's cut the clip right here. We'll split it. Okay, and now let's have it slow down until here. So let's split it again. Let's move this one out of the way. Let's move these two out of the way. And now this middle clip is where we want it to slow down. So let's stretch this out so it takes longer to occur. That slows it down. And then we'll push this back here to tighten it up. And let's see what we have. Notice how it really slowed down in the middle and then sped back up at the end. So that's the first clip. The second one that I want to show you is one that has audio. So all the same things I just showed you, you can do with this, but now I just want to show you what happens to the audio. So let's just play a little bit of this. So let me show you one more, um, just to close. Okay, so that's without it being sped up. So now let's let's do it this way. Let's go back up to visual effects and drag the clip speed tool down here. The effect was added. Now let's speed this up. Let's we can, instead of dragging the handle, let's this time uh, with it selected. Let's come up to the properties and let's change the speed to 0 0.5. Oh, wrong way. Actually, sorry. I wanted to go two two times the speed. So that's sped it up. Let's see what that looks like now. The 3D screen effect. So let me show you one more. Um, just so what I wanted to demonstrate is that the audio also sped up, which was to be expected, but the pitch was kept at the same constant rate. So it does, uh, uh, it corrects the pitch at the same time. So as fast as you want to make this, uh, it won't increase the pitch of the audio. The 3D screen effect. So let me show you one more. Okay, pretty hard to understand there. But if I drag it the other way and make it slower, so that's 
0.47 times. That's how you do the 3D screen. Okay, now there may be times where you don't want the audio included. Uh, if you want to slow down a portion of this, let's just reset this. Um, the clip speed will go back here and highlight it. Let's reset it to one. So regular speed. Let's say we wanted like to. So let me show you one more. At this point, actually maybe when I put the finger up so you can, you can kind of see. Once we get here, let's cut this here, split it. And then from there to there, let's say. Let's split it again. Let's move this out of the way. And now for this portion, let's get rid of the audio. So we can right click this, silence audio, and now let's slow this down. Okay, so now let's see what we have there. So let me show you. Um, just to close this out. Okay, so you can turn the audio off for portions where you're speeding up or slowing down. Okay, now the last one that I want to show you, this is a screen recording. So the same thing applies. You can add a clip speed to this, just like this. Or again, you can right click and add it that way. Actually, you won't see it there because I've already added it. So let's just delete that. Right click, add clip speed. Okay. So on a screen recording like this, there may be times where you want uh, what's going on on the screen to speed up. Let's say you're not saying anything, there's nothing being said in the voiceover, and you want whatever's happening on screen to happen at a faster time. So the same thing applies as what I showed you in the previous uh, examples. You can do this with screen recordings as well. So this screen recording currently shows me dragging an effect down onto a logo there. And let's just say I want that part of the video to happen faster. Okay, before I get to this. Okay, so right here, that's where I want the clip speed to stop. And so let's say this first part, I want to happen faster. So then with the clip speed added, notice that if I added the clip speed before I made the split, the clip speed will actually be in both. Okay, so this side, we want to slow this, or we want to speed this side up. Okay, like that. Let me just zoom in here so you can see this a little better. Okay, so now let's see what we have. That part is sped up and then back to the regular speed. If there's anything else you'd like to know how to do in Camtasia, let me know in the comments below. I live stream Camtasia tutorials at 1 p.m. Tuesdays for about an hour. I do demo requests and answer your questions live. If you're looking to improve your Camtasia videos, join me in Tuesday's live stream. I'm Rob from RobTheMaritimer.com and I'll see you in the next video or in a live stream. I'll see you soon.